All right, so we haven't done a episode of lock browsing in a while. And this today where the search I've decided to go with is high security. So let me see what we have in here. Let's see what we got. Hopefully this dumb thing will be behave itself. Take that off there. Make sure it's nice and bright. Yeah. Okay. Looks good, I think. Alright. So for the search term, high security we got stupid like away. Behave. All right, you can see there it just says Yale Platinum. So that there would be a good lock. I'd use one of these. This is definitely something you could consider a high security lock. Something I would use. It has a slider and dimple key. It does have anti snap as advertised. This one here is a UAP. Let's have a look and see what they say. Anti-drill, anti-snap, anti-pick, anti-bump. It does have, if we look at the pictures, no, look at this picture here. That little, make sure it's in frame though. That little red line that you can see there in front of the just behind the keyway there, that red line is where the anti-snap is. Now, yeah, it'll snap there, but it's only going to slow someone down. I think this particular one, it's going to slow someone down because it still has that same weakness. It's just hidden behind a anti-snap cylinder. And the longer the cylinder is, again, the more likely you can grip after you've snapped it, you can snap the rest of it. One of the things though about anti-snap I think is a bit dumb is, yeah I get why you have anti-snap but uh, the anti-snap actually if you snap a piece of the lock off it makes picking it easier but you have less pins to deal with. Just food for thought. Uh, have a set. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a high security lock. We've picked one of those on the channel. Two of those actually. So we can pick that. Um, here's a high security 5 lever mortise deadlock. I think it's a, yeah, it looks like a Viscount. An ERA Viscount. There's another showing us another picture of a ABS there. Now this one is a it says high, van high security padlock. It's just a puck lock with the f the frame on it. Um, I wouldn't call that high security necessarily, but uh, I don't know. I suppose it depends. I'd call that the low end of the high security for vans, because if you have a van and you want to secure it. There's a different product that I think is a bit better, more professional looking. It's called a slam lock, and normally locksmiths can install those. There's a patio door um, handle guard or whatever it is. There's one of those smiley, smiley alarm locks which can be picked when they're alarmed as well. Uh, normally they're made of pot metal, so a strike with a hammer de normally defeats them. Never mind them having a stupid alarm and not, not very good. I wouldn't call that a high security lock, sorry. Here's an Ultion. I've never picked an Ultion. Mm, pretty cool. Looks like, a, looks like a dimple lock. But if it has a thumb turn on it, I wouldn't trust it because some turns can be bypassed but you need them I suppose for fire safety and there's another Ultion 
Yale Superior. We think that was the first one. Look at that though. You can get a Yale Superior for five euros. Sounds a bit like they're they're selling themselves a bit short there. It's a one star, though it's not a three star like the other one. So Force Fortress, ah, Fortress. Let's have a look here. It has a pretty nice looking thing there. It's pretty fancy. Quite a nice looking um, puck lock, but don't know much about it, unfortunately. Maybe that's just a sticker on there. Who knows? Yeah, Ultion, high security, key like. What is this? Ah, uh, now, um, that's just an ASIC padlock. Um, I have one of those at work, but uh, I don't call lock padlocks without a shroud a high security lock. You need a shroud on your lock if you want to call it high security. There's a Yale Platinum, that's a good one, yeah. There's a padlock O and S L high security close shack padlock. It looks like a copy of a Chubb Cruiser. That's what it looks like to me. But at least it's got a shroud to it, so that's not too bad. Here's a one of those Chinese disc detainer locks. As much as I'd want to call that a high security lock, I'm cracking out to say it's not because the shackle is probably not even hardened and the, as we all know, the rings on those locks can be pried out with a screwdriver. Yeah, it's superior, it's okay. High security cam lock, it's a tubular, it's a tubular lock there. Uh, I wouldn't trust that as a high security lock, you could impression that, there's always that chance of that happening. Um, there's a rim cylinder, multi-lock, sure that could be high security. I wouldn't call a key box high security, especially with a combination lock on it. ABS, high security one star. Yeah. That's a, uh, that looks like a fire safe, not a proper safe, so you can't call it high security. Master lock armor shackle. There's a a master lock that wouldn't be too shabby. Yeah, it's, de it's a decent design, so I wouldn't wouldn't be too far off high security, just in my opinion. Um, yeah, it might be hey, you might be able to rake it or whatever, but. Realistically, I don't think picking is an issue, but definitely well built. I like those that design of a padlock. Here's a disc, definitely a high security lock. That's a Zone Warrior, copy of a Chub Warrior. Big heavy brick of a lock. The hidden shackle, definitely a high security lock. And there's a Yale puck lock. Yeah, it might have some spools in it or whatever, but I'm not going to say that's high security because I think that one is vulnerable to drilling. That one there. So let's go down again. You can see the prices they expect you to get. Now there's a cabba by the way. I've got a cabba for a um, glass cabinet. I'd rather use this cabba than a wafer lock because most of all um, cabinet locks have wafer locks to them. This one has a dimple, cab a dimple, that's pretty nice. Not expensive either, it's for five euros, whatever. Uh, master chain, what is this master lock? Say so this level 10 chain. I wouldn't call a, sorry, master lock, but I wouldn't call 
a 10 millimeter high um, chain high security not enough it's not going to stop bolt cutters need 16 millimeters I believe maybe I'm wrong but as far as I know that's what you need 16 millimeters or more to defeat bolt cutters I don't know about hydraulic bolt cutters but I think that might be possible have to wait and see hopefully the lock picking lawyer will take take it upon himself to do that and Malenko high security van door lock or something what kind of key it uses and then kind of looks like a wafer lock though it's a uh, yeah I can't really tell from the picture maybe we can tell via yeah it's hard to tell if that is actually a Wait for lock, I don't think it is. Here's an ERA, I think it's a laminated padlock, but it doesn't have a shroud, so we can't call it high security, sorry. This is just my opinion. There's one of those Chinese shutter locks. Yeah, the shape of it is right, but again, I don't think it's high security because it's probably not hardened. And yeah, again, that ring is a vulnerability. But for five euro, whatever it's, you get what you pay for. Armor D lock key, like looks kind of good. There's a Avocet attack. We've picked one of those and shown though that it has a weakness with shins, but not too bad of a weakness really. Do a few more here. Basic kite mark high security rim cylinder. Hmm. Don't know. Need to see that one a bit better to be able to tell how good it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. Four motion door locked it bolt. Looks cool. Look at all those dead bolts. It's a lever lock. Um thing is some of these I've seen tools that impression them rather fast so <coughs> questionable physically it looks strong but again you have to know for certain are those actually hardened bolts or whatever um, multi-lock that's always nice multi-lock mower I'm just going down a little bit more to see if we can find anything interesting. Let's go to this year spec here. Um, it's got a thumb turn. I wouldn't trust it. Sorry. Wouldn't call that a high security lock at all. It's just a combination lock, and it looks like a cheapy one. Very very cheeky to call that high security. Oh, here looks here's something pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. This is a of course for that price. If you're going to expect something decent, but you can see it as a shroud. You know, the walls of the body of the lock they go all the way up to the top of the shackle. That's a shroud. It looks like it's got drill protection. I believe it's a Spanish lock, so the Spaniards they make nice locks. I found. Very very fancy. Oh, it's a dimple lock as well, I think. Just based on that. Pretty pretty cool. Hopefully the body is made of steel or something substantial. Um it's a Maximus Security ERA Fortress. Huh. There's a decent um Euro cylinder by ERA. It's a three star. Pretty nice. Pretty pretty nice. Looks pretty tough to defeat that one. A little bit more. That's the abloy. K 
cast be out. That one's got a shroud, that one's got a shroud, no problem. That one has a multi lock, but it doesn't have a shroud. I'd rather have a shroud to call it high security. Anchorless. Oh, there's an anchorless. There's a pretty nice looking shiny lock there. But it doesn't have a shroud. So I think I'm going to leave it at that now. This is just eBay. So, yeah, I hope you found that interesting. It's always interesting to see what they have stocked on eBay from time to time and to see what they reckon are high security locks and what aren't actually high security locks. It's good to show you, or at least give you, hopefully, an educated opinion on their locks and whether they're not they're actually high security someone who knows a, bit, a little bit about locks can at least tell you a bit about the products that they sell you know anyways hopefully we'll do another one of these videos later